InSight is a robotic lander designed to study the interior of the planet Mars. The mission launched on 5 May 2018 at 11.05 Coordinated Universal Time and is expected to land on the surface of Mars at Elysium Planitia on 26 November 2018, where it will deploy a seismometer and burrow a heat probe. It will also perform a radio science experiment to study the internal structure of Mars. The mission is managed by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory for NASA. The lander was manufactured by Lockheed Martin Space Systems and was originally planned for launch in March 2016. The name is a backronym for interior exploration using seismic investigations, geodesy and heat transport. InSight's objective is to place a stationary lander equipped with a seismometer called CIS produced by the French space agency CNES, and measure heat transfer with a heat probe called HP3 produced by the German space agency DLR to study the planet's early geological evolution. This could bring new understanding of the solar system's terrestrial planets—Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and the Earth's moon. By reusing technology from the Mars Phoenix lander, which successfully landed on Mars in 2008, it is expected that the cost and risk will be reduced. Following a persistent vacuum failure in the CIS instrument prior to launch, the 2016 launch window was missed, and the InSight spacecraft was returned to Lockheed Martin's facility in Denver, Colorado, for storage. NASA officials decided in March 2016 to spend an estimated $150 million to delay launching InSight to May 2018. This allowed time for the seismometer issue to be fixed, although it increased the cost from the previous $675 million to a total of $830 million. Topic. History InSight was initially known as GEMS Geophysical Monitoring Station, but its name was changed in early 2012 following a request by NASA. Out of 28 proposals from 2010, it was one of the three Discovery Program finalists receiving $3 million in May 2011 to develop a detailed concept study. In August 2012, InSight was selected for development and launch. Managed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPL, with participation from scientists from several countries, the mission is cost capped at $425 million, not including launch vehicle funding. Lockheed Martin began construction of the lander on 19 May 2014, with general testing starting in 27 May 2015. A persistent vacuum leak in the CNES supplied seismometer known as the Seismic Experiment for Interior Structure CIS, led NASA to postpone the planned launch in March. March 2016 to May 2018. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory took over development of the vacuum container for CIS, with CNES handling instrument integration and test activities. When InSight was delayed, the rest of the spacecraft was returned to Lockheed Martin's factory in Colorado for storage, and the Atlas V rocket intended to launch the spacecraft was reassigned to the Worldview 4 mission. NASA officials announced on 9 March 2016 that InSight would be delayed until the 2018 launch window at an estimated cost of $150 million. The spacecraft was rescheduled to launch on 5 May 2018 for a Mars landing on 26 November at 3 p.m. The flight plan remained unchanged with launch using an Atlas V rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory was tasked with redesigning and building a new vacuum enclosure for the CIS instrument, while CNES conducted instrument integration and testing. On the 22nd of November 2017, InSight completed testing in a thermal vacuum, also known as TVAC testing, where the spacecraft is put in simulated space conditions with reduced pressure and various thermal loads. On 23 January 2018, after a long storage, its solar panels were once again deployed and tested, and a second silicon chip containing 1.6 million names from the public was added to the lander. On 28 February 2018 InSight was shipped from Lockheed Martin Space Systems in Denver to Vandenberg Air Force Base, California, by a C-17 cargo aircraft to be integrated to the launch vehicle. The lander was launched on 5 May 2018, with a scheduled landing on 26 November 2018. Topic. Science background The difficulty of an interplanetary seismometer was experienced by NASA when the Viking 1 lander's seismometer did not deploy properly in 1976. The seismometer on both Viking spacecraft were mounted on the lander, which meant that it also picked up vibrations from various operations of the lander and by the wind. 
The seismometer readings were used to estimate a Martian geological crust thickness between 14 and 18 kilometers (8.7 and 11.2 miles) at the Viking 2 lander site. The Viking 2 seismometer detected pressure from the Mars winds complementing the meteorology results. There was one candidate for a possible Marsquake, although it was not confirmed due to the limitations of the design, especially due to interference from other sources like wind. The wind data did prove useful in its own right, and despite the limitations of the data, widespread and large Marsquakes were not detected. Radio Doppler measurements were taken with Viking and 20 years later with Mars Pathfinder, and in each case the axis of rotation of Mars was estimated. By combining this data the core size was constrained, because the change in axis of rotation over 20 years allowed a precession rate and from that the planet's moment of inertia to be estimated. InSight's measurements of crust thickness, mantle viscosity, core radius and density, and seismic activity should result in an accuracy increase of 3 times to 10 times compared with current data. Seismometers were also left on the Moon by the Apollo 12, 14, 15 and 16 missions and provided many insights into lunar seismology, including the discovery of moonquakes. The Apollo Seismic Network, which was operated until 1977, detected at least 28 moonquakes up to 5.5 on the Richter scale. Objectives The InSight mission will place a single stationary lander on Mars to study its deep interior and address a fundamental issue of planetary and solar system science, understanding the processes that shaped the rocky planets of the inner solar system including Earth more than 4 billion years ago. InSight's primary objective is to study the earliest evolutionary history of the processes that shaped Mars. By studying the size, thickness, density and overall structure of Mars' core, mantle and crust, as well as the rate at which heat escapes from the planet's interior, InSight will provide a glimpse into the evolutionary processes of all of the rocky planets in the inner solar system. The rocky inner planets share a common ancestry that begins with a process called accretion. As the body increases in size, its interior heats up and evolves to become a terrestrial planet, containing a core, mantle and crust. Despite this common ancestry, each of the terrestrial planets is later shaped and molded through a poorly understood process called differentiation. InSight Mission's goal is to improve the understanding of this process and, by extension, terrestrial evolution, by measuring the planetary building blocks shaped by this differentiation, a terrestrial planet's core, mantle and crust. The mission will determine if there is any seismic activity, measure the rate of heat flow from the interior, estimate the size of Mars' core and whether the core is liquid or solid. This data would be the first of its kind for Mars. It is also expected that frequent meteor airbursts 10 to 200 detectable events per year for InSight will provide additional seismo-acoustic signals to probe the interior of Mars. The mission's secondary objective is to conduct an in-depth study of geophysics, tectonic activity and the effect of meteorite impacts on Mars, which could provide knowledge about such processes on Earth. Measurements of crust thickness, mantle viscosity, core radius and density, and seismic activity should result in an accuracy increase of 3 times to 10 times compared with current data. In terms of fundamental processes shaping planetary formation, it is thought that Mars contains the most in depth and accurate historical record, because it is big enough to have undergone the earliest accretion and internal heating processes that shaped the terrestrial planets, but is small enough to have retained signs of those processes. Design The mission further develops a design inherited from the 2008 Phoenix Mars lander. Because InSight is powered by solar panels, it will land near the equator to enable maximum power for a projected lifetime of two years one Martian year. The mission includes two microsatellites called MARCO that launched with InSight but are flying separately to Mars. Lander specifications Mass total, 694 kg 1530 pounds Lander, 358 kg 789 pounds Aeroshell, 189 kg 417 pounds Cruise stage, 79 kg 174 pounds Propellant and pressurant, 67 kg 148 pounds Mars Cube 1 CubeSats, 13.5 kg each dimensions 
about 6.0 meters, 19.7 feet wide with solar panels deployed. The science deck is about 1.56 meters, 5.1 feet wide and between 0.83 and 1.08 meters, 2.7 and 3.5 feet high depending on leg compression after landing. The length of the robotic arm is 2.4 meters, 7.9 feet power Power is generated by two round solar panels, each 2.15 meters (7.1 feet) in diameter, and consisting of Solaro ZTJ triple junction solar cells made of ingap ingas J arranged on orbital ATK ultraflex arrays. After touchdown on the Martian surface, the arrays are deployed by opening like a folding fan. Topic: <laughs> Payload. InSight's payload has a total mass of 50 kg, including science instruments and support systems such as the auxiliary payload sensor suite, cameras, the instrument deployment system, and a laser retroreflector. The science payload consists of two main instruments, CIS and HP-3. The Seismic Experiment for Interior Structure will take precise measurements of quakes and other internal activity on Mars to better understand the planet's history and structure. It will also investigate how the Martian crust and mantle respond to the effects of meteorite impacts, which gives clues to the planet's inner structure. CIS was provided by the French Space Agency CNES, with the participation of the Institut de Physique du Globe de Paris IPGP, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology EV, the Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research MPS, Imperial College, Institut Supérieur de l'Aéronautique et de l'Espace ISAE, and JPL. The seismometer will also detect sources including atmospheric waves and gravimetric signals tidal forces from Mars Moon Phobos, up to high-frequency seismic waves of 50 Hz. CIS was found to have a vacuum leak which could not be corrected in time for the 2016 launch of InSight, forcing a two-year mission postponement. The CIS instrument is supported by a suite of meteorological tools to characterize atmospheric disturbances that might affect the experiment. These include a vector magnetometer provided by UCLA that will measure magnetic disturbances such as those caused by the Martian ionosphere, a suite of air temperature, wind speed and wind direction sensors based on the Spanish Finnish Rover Environmental Monitoring Station and a barometer from JPL, the heat flow and physical properties package HP3 provided by the German Aerospace Center DLR is a self-penetrating heat flow probe referred to as a self-hammering nail and nicknamed the Mole. It was designed to burrow as deep as 5 meters 16 feet below the Martian surface while trailing a tether with embedded heat sensors to measure how efficiently heat flows through Mars' core, and thus reveal unique information about the planet's interior and how it has evolved over time. It trails a tether containing precise temperature sensors every 10 cm to measure the temperature profile of the subsurface. The tractor mole of the instrument was provided by the Polish company Astronica. The Rotation and Interior Structure Experiment RISE, led by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPL, is a radio science experiment that will use the Landers X-band radio to provide precise measurements of planetary rotation to better understand the interior of Mars. X-band radio tracking, capable of an accuracy under 2 cm, will build on previous Viking program and Mars Pathfinder data. The previous data allowed the core size to be estimated, but with more data from InSight, the nutation amplitude can be determined. Once spin axis direction, precession, and nutation amplitudes are better understood, it should be possible to calculate the size and density of the Martian core and mantle. This should increase the understanding of the formation of terrestrial planets e.g. Earth and rocky exoplanets, temperature and winds for InSight twins, fabricated by Spain's Centro de Astrobiologia, will monitor weather at the landing site. Laser retroreflector for InSight Larry is a corner cube retroreflector provided by the Italian Space Agency and mounted on InSight's top deck. It will enable passive laser range finding by orbiters even after the lander is retired, and would function as a node in a proposed Mars geophysical network. 
This device previously flew on the Schiaparelli lander as the instrument for landing roving laser retroreflector investigations and was an aluminum dome 54 mm in, in diameter and 25 grams ounces in mass featuring eight fused silica reflectors. Instrument Deployment Arm is a 2.4 m robotic arm that will be used to deploy the CIS and HP3 instruments to Mars surface. The Instrument Deployment Camera is a color camera based based on the Mars Exploration Rover and Mars Science Laboratory NAVCAM design. It is mounted on the instrument deployment arm and will image the instruments on the lander's deck and provide stereoscopic views of the terrain surrounding the landing site. It features a 45-degree field of view and uses a 1024 x 1024 pixel CCD detector. The IDC sensor was originally black and white for best resolution. A program was enacted that tested with a standard HASCAM, and, since development deadlines and budgets were met, it was replaced with a color sensor. The Instrument Context Camera (ICC) is a color camera based on the MER MSL HASCAM design. It is mounted below the lander's deck, and with its wide-angle 120-degree panoramic field of view, will provide a complementary view of the instrument deployment area. Like the IDC, it uses a 1024 1024 pixel CCD detector. Topic. Launch The spacecraft was launched on 5 May 2018 at 11.05 Coordinated Universal Time on an Atlas V-401 launch vehicle from Vandenberg Air Force Base Space Launch Complex 3 East. This was the first American interplanetary mission to launch from California. The launch was managed by NASA's Launch Services Program. InSight was originally scheduled for launch on the 4th of March 2016 on an Atlas V401, 4 meter fairing, 0, 0 solid rocket boosters, single, 1 engine Centaur from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, US, but was called off in December 2015 due to a vacuum leak on the CIS instrument. The rescheduled launch window ran from 5 May to 8 June 2018. The journey to Mars will take 6.5 months across 484 million kilometers 301 million miles for a touchdown expected on 26 November. If it lands successfully, a two-month-long deployment phase would commence as part of its two-year prime mission. Planned landing site As InSight's science goals are not related to any particular surface feature of Mars, potential landing sites were chosen on the basis of practicality. Candidate sites needed to be near the equator of Mars to provide sufficient sunlight for the solar panels year-round, have a low elevation to allow for sufficient atmospheric braking during EDL, flat, relatively rock-free to reduce the probability of complications during landing, and soft enough terrain to allow the heat flow probe to penetrate well into the ground. An optimal area that meets all these requirements is Elysium Planitia, so all 22 initial potential landing sites were located in this area. The only two other areas on the equator and at low elevation, Isidus Planitia and Valles Marineris, are too rocky. In addition, Valles Marineris has too steep a gradient to allow safe landing. In September 2013, the initial 22 potential landing sites were narrowed down to four, and the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter was then used to gain more information on each of the four potential sites before a final decision was made. Each site consists of a landing ellipse that measures about 130 by 27 kilometers 81 by 17 miles. In March 2017, scientists from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory announced that the landing site had been selected. It is located in western Elysium Planitia at 4.5 degrees north 135.9 degrees east, 4.5, 135.9 InSight landing site. The landing site is about 600 kilometers 370 miles north from where the Curiosity rover is operating in Gale Crater. Topic. Team and participation The InSight Science and Engineering team includes scientists and engineers from many disciplines, countries and organizations. 
The science team assigned to Insight includes scientists from institutions in the US, France, Germany, Austria, Belgium, Canada, Japan, Switzerland, Spain and the United Kingdom. Mars Exploration Rover Project scientist W. Bruce Bannert is the principal investigator for the Insight mission and the lead scientist for the CIS instrument. Suzanne Smirker, whose research focuses on the thermal evolution of planets and who has done extensive testing and development on instruments designed to measure the thermal properties and heat flow on other planets, is the lead for InSight's HP3 instrument. The principal investigator for RISE is William Faulkner at JPL. The InSight mission team also includes project manager Tom Hoffman and deputy project manager Henry Stone. Major contributing agencies and institutions, national agencies, National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA Centre National de Etudes Spatiales CNES Deutsches Zentrum für Luft und Raumfahrt DLR Contributing Institutions Jet Propulsion Laboratory NASA JPL Lockheed Martin Institut de Physique du Globe de Paris IPGP Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich ETHZ Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research MPS Imperial College London Institut Supérieur de l'Aéronautique et de l'Espace University of Oxford Centro de Astrobiologia CAB Centrum Baden Kosmichnich CBK Topic Name Chips As part of its public outreach, NASA organized a program where members of the public were able to have their names sent to Mars aboard InSight. Due to its launch delay, two rounds of sign-ups were conducted totaling 2.4 million names, 826,923 names were registered in 2015 and a further 1.6 million names were added in 2017. An electron beam was used to etch letters only one one thousandth the width of a human hair onto 8 mm silicon wafers. The first chip was installed on the lander in November 2015 and the second on 23 January 2018. CubeSats <inaudible> 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 The Mars Cube 1 Marco spacecraft are a pair of 6U CubeSats that piggybacked with the InSight mission to test CubeSat navigation and endurance in deep space, and to help relay real-time communications during the probe's entry, descent and landing EDL phase. The two 6U CubeSats, named Marco A and B, are identical. They measure 30 cm x 20 cm x 10 cm 11.8 in x 7.9 in x 3.9 in and are flying as a pair for redundancy. They will not enter orbit but fly past Mars during the EDL phase of the mission and relay InSight's telemetry in real time. MARCO is a technology capability demonstration of a communications relay system. The Atlas V rocket launched the Marco CubeSats together with the InSight cruise stage. The two CubeSats separated from the cruise stage after launch, and are flying their own trajectory to Mars. This is notably different from the twin Deep Space 2 probes, which were attached to the Mars Polar Lander cruise stage on its way to Mars. Near Mars, the Deep Space 2 probes separated for their mini mission, but they were never heard from, and Mars Polar Lander was lost on landing. Mars Global Surveyor was in orbit for communication at that time. Topic. Mars map Topic. See also Exploration of Mars List of missions to Mars Topic. References Topic. External links Insight NASA Insight NASA minus Mars Exploration Program Insight NASA video 331 the 18th of November 2018